Happy Monday! This morning I want to bring this beautiful devotional to us, to empower us, strengthen us, uh, to walk in faith. <clears throat> For without faith, it is impossible to please God. And we are called to be mountain movers, amen? All obstacles, uh, every adversities uh, we must overcome and we overcome by the power of the Spirit of God, the Word of God. So we need the Word of God. Mountain movers. Without faith, living within us, it would be impossible to please God. For we come to God in faith, knowing that He is real and that He rewards the faith of those who give all their passion and strength into seeking Him. Hallelujah. That's Hebrews 11, 6, the um, Passion Translation. Matthew 17, 20 says, that if we have faith as small as a mustard seed, we can literally move mountains. Since none of us have plans to pick up Mount Kilimanjaro, I can't say that word right, <laughs> and find a new spot for it, how can we apply this knowledge to our own lives? Truly, it sounds a bit wacky that we can do great things with only a little faith. And yet scripture tells us that it is so. So if the word of God says so, then it is so. Amen. Hallelujah. How can we step out in faith? It looks different for everyone. For some, the first step may be um, giving themselves fully into a belief that Christ died for their sins. And that's where it begins. Amen. For others, it could look like jumping out of a job that isn't a good fit and taking a leap into the unknown or giving up a toxic relationship, knowing that the Lord will be there to take care of them. I can testify to you that God is faithful and he will take care of you every day for the rest of your life. If we seek him wholeheartedly. He will take care of us. He will reward us. Thank you, Lord. Dear God, I want to be strong. I want to live, to have the courage to trust in you at all times. Show me your ways and give me strength. And this is what I pray for myself today and for you. Hallelujah. I got to go to work. May the peace and power, strength and faith of the Lord be overflowing in your hearts today. I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Have a blessed day.